Today in this video, we are going to talk about the secret to having an abundant life. So, growing up in the early 2000s, we had this weird thing on television that probably people don't know about it today, but they were called commercials. So commercials were things that played during the middle of TV programming. And so if you wanted to watch your TV show, there was a commercial that happened in the meantime. And in that time in that commercial, that pause, that is when you went to the bathroom, that's when you would grab your snacks. And if you came back and the show was playing, you couldn't go back and rewind. Like the show was going, it was a continuous thing, on and on and on and on and on. And so now y'all don't have any idea of how good you have it because now you can pause. So now you're on Hulu, now you're on Netflix, you're watching your show, an ad comes on and you pause and you get to go and do whatever you want and then you come back and you never miss anything. I did not have that privilege. I would miss lots of things because I went to the bathroom or I was talking with my mom or whatever. And so what's funny is we love to pause now. We love to get on our TVs and pause our show and come back to when we want it to happen. However, we live in a world where personally, we don't like to pause. We like to go, we like to be involved in 18 different things, we have to have a busy schedule, and we personally don't like to pause in our life. So, what if I told you that the key to having an abundant life is pausing? And so we're going to look at a story in Luke where this takes place. And so I'm going to be in Luke 5, verses 12 through 16. Says, While he was in one of the towns, a man was there who had leprosy all over him. He saw Jesus face down and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Reaching out his hand, Jesus touched him, saying, I am willing, be made clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then he ordered him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and of what Moses commanded for you, cleansing as a testimony to them. But the news about him spread even more, and the large crowds would come together to hear him, and he healed of their sickness. Yet he often drew to a deserted place and prayed. Jesus said, hey, don't tell anyone. However, word got out. He went and show, the man with leprosy went and told people. And so when he went and told people, people came to Jesus, they surrounded him. Jesus instantly was busy. He was now the most popular guy in the town. And so his schedule was full. But yet we see that this last verse in verse 16 that Jesus left and he went to be with the Lord alone. And so there's something key that we can learn in this passage about Jesus, about pausing. That even in Jesus' busiest times in his life, doing ministry and healing people, that he went and spent time with Jesus, with the Lord alone. So even in the busyness of life with Jesus, we saw that he went and prayed. And we saw that he did this so many times in the Gospels. In fact, that he did it 33 times, that during his ministry that he went and, he bet, he went and spent alone time with God. And so I believe that there's three reasons why Jesus did this. And the first is that it prepared him. It prepared him for what was next in his life. It prepared him for what he, had, what he was coming into, what he was doing. The next is I felt that it revitalized him. That Jesus was exhausted, I'm sure, after all the ministry that he had been doing, all the miracles that he had, all the healing that was taking place, that it, he needed time to revitalize himself with God. And the last of that, it gave him strength. Jesus faced some tough things. And so then the only way that he could face those tough things is when he spent time with God. And so if you're wondering, Bailey, I don't have any time. I am so busy. There's no way that I can take a pause in my life. I get it. Life is busy. Life is messy. And there's a lot going on. However, I'm going to give you four ways that I think you can take a pause in your life that can help you incorporate the spiritual discipline. And the first is that you can start small. I think we get in this idea that spending time with Jesus has to be this long drawn out thing and that we won't, because we can't give it our all, we won't give it anything. And so if you just take 15 minutes and start small, maybe just journaling or write, praying, talking with God, those 15 minutes with God, I feel like would, is better than 15 minutes without God. 
And so if you just give him that time, start small and build yourself up. I think you'll see a very um, good habit starting to form. And then you'll come to the point where you're like, I'm, I wish I could do that more or I want to do that more. And then the second is that have a plan. We are so good about putting everything in our calendar nowadays that we make sure that our choir concerts and our band practices are in there and our family functions are in our calendar. But have we ever thought to put down and write down a time to spend with God? And I personally, in college, this is something I had to do because I looked at my schedule and I thought, there's no way I have any time to spend time with God. However, when I would schedule every day at 9.15 to 9.30, that was the time I was gonna spend with God. And if I didn't schedule it, it didn't happen. And so put it in the calendar, make a schedule, make a plan. Okay, the third is that I would encourage you to be alone. Um, I would encourage you this by meaning this as to remove any distractions in your life. And so don't do this at the kitchen dinner table with your family. Don't do this um, with a group of people. I would encourage you to be alone with God. We saw that Jesus went to be alone. We saw this when he fed the, after he fed the 5,000, we saw this when he went to the garden, that he was alone and he spent alone time with God. And so I would encourage you, I know a lot of people have their Bible on their phone. I know a lot of people use that as a resource. I'd encourage you to put it on airplane mode. And if not, have a physical Bible when you go and spend time with Jesus. And so yes, third, be alone. The fourth thing is to give it time. This is not a, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And so when you, it's just like exercise. When you wake up in the morning, nobody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna run a marathon with no training. And so it takes time. It takes time to train yourself to get to these places where you can spend lots and lots of time alone with God. And so if you're only able to give it five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's okay. It's okay that you're, disciplining yourself, taking the time. It's going to take time. So give yourself grace, but give yourself time. And so we talked about the key to having an abundant life is to pause. And so I would challenge you that to take maybe one or two times this week to just pause and be with the Lord. We gave you four helpful ways. And so pick one of those ways and just spend time with God in pause. Hey, what's up friends? My name is Nick. So excited to have you join us for this video. And uh, we just want to let you know that we are a local church in the DFW Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if you're local to here and you're in 6th grade through 12th grade, we would love to invite you to come check us out Wednesday nights in person or Sunday mornings. But if you're not or if you're just not ready to do that, we also want to let you know that we love interacting with you here online. So whether it's these long form videos or some of our YouTube shorts or hang out with us over on TikTok or Instagram, we are hoping to provide inspirational, creative, fun, silly content every single day, uh, ultimately all with the aim of helping you take meaningful next steps in your faith to Jesus. If there's any way and anything, any prayer that we can offer for you as a pastor, uh, we would love to invite you to do that. Hit us up in the DMs or shoot us a message some way, somehow. Until next time, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. We're excited to be with you.